ceremony in the East Bay today honored the life and the legacy of a late Alameda County supervisor. Wilma Chan died last month after she was hit by a car while crossing a street in Alameda. Crown Forest Ella Sogamonian reports on the kind words and memories shared about her tonight. Ella? Well, this emotional ceremony was held at the Oakland Museum of California Garden, and it highlighted the community initiatives and programs that Wilma Chan championed throughout her career. But it also gave her children a chance to speak from the heart about the mother that they loved so dearly. A celebration of life was held Tuesday afternoon for the late Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan. Local community leaders and loved ones gathered to pay their respects to a woman who gave her all to the community. Her children, Darren and Jen, say that their mother led by example and instilled core values in them, like putting people first in decision making, learning from everyone, and acting with honesty and integrity. Over the past month, we've heard from countless individuals and organizations. The vastness of those she touched is incredible and speaks to the decades she dedicated to helping people. For 30 years, Wilma Chan played a crucial role in public service, first on the Oakland School Board, then becoming the first Asian American to be elected to the Alameda County Board of Supervisors and serving District 16 in the State Assembly before coming back to the Alameda County Board. Balancing parenthood with policymaking, Wilma Chan was an advocate for children, families, the elderly, affordable housing, and health care for the uninsured. In Wilma Chan, we saw a highly intelligent person who believed deeply in helping people live better, who wasn't afraid to speak up, and someone who was relentless, especially when the fight was hard and challenging. In Mom, we saw a person who shared her love selectively but wholeheartedly and most enjoyed the very simple things like spending time with family, long naps, singing, and lots of ice cream. The Chan family suggests that donations to honor Wilma be made to the supervisor Wilma Chan Legacy Fund established by the Board of Supervisors. Donations will support grants to community, nonprofits, and other eligible programs serving a public purpose in support of Supervisor Chan's legacy. We'll be sure to post that information up on cronford.com. Meantime, there are still some ongoing discussions regarding how to make that Alameda intersection where Chan was struck and killed safer for pedestrians. Live in the newsroom, Ella Sigamonian, Cronford News. Thank you, Ella. Police